Hello! I am playing Star Trek Online, or at least I'm trying to play Star Trek Online. I've been having some problems with the game recently. Uh, well, recently, in the last six months, it seems it's just gotten worse and worse. And that's uh, performance issues and bugs. And one of the performance issues I keep running into is I'll join an elite queue, and as I transition to the map, it disconnects me from the game, and then I get a penalty, a timeout penalty for that. And that has been happening more and more frequently, and I have tried this game using all three of my ISPs, T-Mobile, Verizon, and CenturyLink, and it happens, um, you know, on average, uh, once every four times I try to get into an elite queue. And I can tell you, when I do get into an elite queue, the performance issues of the server are lacking. I, I mean, you notice it you feel it and I understand that a lot of high-end players a lot of DPS players that do elite queues they're not playing the game anymore and since this problem has been persistent over the last six months uh, and uh, you add in all the bug issues that the game's been having with you know new new things being added and the bugs I it just goes beyond incompetence to deliver it in my humble opinion you, you have a petty programmer or two that are just just doing things to make the game not be fun to play anymore and it is a fun game it's a beautiful game highly recommend it when it's not being inundated with bugs and performance issues as it is currently and i believe that in my humble opinion that it is an intentional effort to do as much damage um, to cryptic and the game and bleed players off in order to hurt the company that's absorbing cryptic and to make them suffer because a lot of cryptic employees aren't being carried over to the new company and whatever the reason for that is it is and it sucks because there are a lot of talented folks working at cryptic that won't be continuing on but at the same time that might be a good thing because if these bugs have been persistent and they're not getting the attention they need to get and the performance issues are so horrific that you can't play the game in some cases yeah, changes need to be made, and I'm optimistic that perhaps the company that's absorbing Cryptic will uh, will take care of some of these issues, and perhaps getting rid of a few people that might be problematic might go a long way to overcoming a lot of the uh, setbacks this game has suffered in the last six months. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to drop my two cents in because I'm kind of miffed about uh, this constantly happening. And it just it makes the game unplayable because I got to sit around for half an hour doing what I'm doing right now, running missions like this and other stuff that I just don't really want to do at this time. I just want to get some elite cues done so I can do some ISO mags, and I can't do it. And that's extraordinarily frustrating. Uh, you only have so many hours a day you can you know just take out to do this, play a game, and you know I got fewer years ahead than I have behind, so I want to enjoy my limited uh, remaining runtime doing things that I enjoy doing and just spinning my wheels in STO really isn't one of them at this point so I am going to say it's a great game I recommend it when it's working well give it a couple of months and hopefully it'll get sorted out and with the new company taking over and with that I appreciate you taking time to watch and you have a great day bye bye